What went wrong with President Obama? What was the misstep, or how did people seemingly lose faith in him, him and his presidency? Cheryl, let me start with you. Yeah, you know what? I, I think that in the end, people invested whatever hopes they had in him because they were looking uh, for change. And so, but in the end, he was always a centrist. He was always about compromise. And so, what you have is a situation where. In trying to please everyone, I, I think to a certain extent, no one was pleased uh, this year. I mean, there's certainly a lot of things that he has that you can put in in the win column. You can, <coughs> depending on your point of view, you can put health care reform uh, in the win column, and certainly there are challenges to it still. Uh, uh, but for right now, uh, 30 million more Americans will have um, health insurance because of that. Uh, you know, here we are right at the end of the year, and um, it looks like we have the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Again, that's something that you can look at and put in uh, the win column. Uh, on the other hand, you have that tax deal. Mm. You know, that bipartisan tax deal that was wildly unpopular with the base. And um, certainly, a lot of the readers on um, theroot.com, honestly, um, I, I, you know, we, we saw some some anger, you know, uh, feeling as if, um, you know, in he a lot He sold lolly. out to, yeah, to yeah. the Republicans. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. it's such a great Can I jump in here, um, though? Can I, yeah, go ahead. And then, then, Mo, you can have your say. Go ahead, John. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, on the, the tax deal, I think uh, liberal activists obviously were unhappy at what they saw as capitulation. But if you look at the polling, that deal is actually pretty popular across ideological lines. And I think it shows a divide between rank and file average voters and folks that actually pay attention to politics and read Politico every day. Uh, so I think he, he, there's a lot of folks that think he actually may be starting his comeback in part thanks to that tax deal. Um, but I think when you talk about President Obama, there's a quote that comes to mind. I think it was Robert Gibbs who said this, the White House press secretary. He said, it's hard to message 10 percent unemployment, which is to say it doesn't matter what we say or do. As long as folks are worried about their pocketbooks, we're going to take a, a, a pretty tough hit. Do you, do you agree with that, Mo? Uh, you know, I, uh, well, I, I, I'll say one thing. It did seem, it was a little, it was a little unnerving that he didn't seem to appreciate how bad the economy was for a long stretch. So that was, you know, not that you want your president to be alarmed, but you want your president to acknowledge that it's a bad situation, that there was no sort of special address about right. the economy, no kind of nighttime Oval Office, um, you know, address to the nation saying, by the way, I get I feel it. Your this pain. Is the, yeah, that this is a terrible economy. It seemed like you know Bush was so much about the gut, but Obama's too much about the head. So it's got to be right. somewhere in between. He's got to govern from the sternum or something. <laughs>